So this problem is to find a polynomial function of degree 5 with negative 2 as a 0 of multiplicity 3, 0 as a 0 of multiplicity 1, and 2 as a 0 of multiplicity 1. It says the polynomial function in expanded form is what we're supposed to write as the answer and to use 1 for the leading coefficient. So first of all, when we are given zeros, that means that this is a value of x, x is equal to negative 2, that because it's a 0, that tells me that this value of x is where the function crosses the x-axis, or we could call that a solution to the equation. So we have that x is equal to negative 2. We also have that 0 is a 0, so that gives us that x is equal to 0. And we have 2 is a 0, so x is also equal to 2 is a solution, or is a 0. So what we do with these is we need to solve each one of these equations for 0 to get a factor in the equation. So to move the negative 2 over to solve for 0, we would add 2 on both sides. So that makes x plus 2 is equal to 0. This one's already solved for 0, so we can just leave it as x is equal to 0. And the x is equal to 2, we need to subtract 2 on both sides to get x minus 2 is equal to 0 to solve it for 0. So now once we have all of our factors, we can multiply them all together based on the multiplicity. So the negative 2 had a multiplicity of 3. So in our, in our function, we're going to have x plus 2 is a factor three different times. x plus 2 and x plus 2. Um, for our x is equal to 0, that gives us a factor of just x. I'll put that out front. And then we also have a factor of x minus 2. Oops. So um, that was a multiplicity of 3, a multiplicity of 1 for the x, and a multiplicity of 1 for the x minus 2. This is a degree 5 polynomial because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 factors of x in our polynomial. It also says to use 1 for the leading coefficient, so we could put a 1 in the front here, but that doesn't really change anything. It just defines what our leading coefficient is going to be. Okay, and to write this in expanded form, we need to distribute all of this out. So I'm going to start by y is equal to, I'm going to distribute my x into my first parentheses here to make this x squared plus 2x. And I'm going to bring down this x plus 2. Then the x plus 2, x minus 2, this is a difference of squares uh, form. So I'll go ahead and multiply that together to make it x squared minus 4. I'm using the difference of squares formula in reverse. From here, I'll um, foil uh, my first two parentheses out to make x cubed plus 2x squared plus another 2x squared and then plus 4x and bring down my x squared minus 4 and then let me give myself a little bit more space I can add my like terms to make this x cubed plus 4x squared plus 4x times x squared minus 4 and then now I can multiply every term in my first parentheses by every term in my second parentheses. So because this is the final set of parentheses, I will drop my parentheses now. And I'll get x to the power of 5 minus 4x to the power of 3. So that's my first term is done. And then plus 4x to the power of 4 minus 16x to the power of 2 plus 4x to the power of 3 minus 16x. So this is all expanded out. Um, let's just write it in um, decreasing exponent uh, form and combine any like terms we have. We have negative 4x cubed and plus 4x cubed, so those two can cancel out. 
and let's just write this as x to the power of 5. Next would be my 4x to the power of 4, and then minus 16x squared minus 16x. So that would be my final fifth degree polynomial in expanded form. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please subscribe to my channel for more homework help videos and share with anyone who you think might benefit from step-by-step -step video solutions like this. Thanks.